In this training module, we will be discussing the installation of an EPDM wall flashing. After our reinforced termination strip has been installed at the base of our walls, the next step is to begin going installing our roofing membrane. The first thing that we do is we're going to make some marks along our membrane to show where the flashing height will be. In this case, we're going to be flashing the membrane up eight inches. So we've made marks at eight inches along the sides, both sides, and we have it folded back. Next thing, we will bring the membrane into place. After we've slid our EPDM into position along the parapet wall, the next step will be adhering the EPDM to the pressure sensitive tape on our reinforced termination strip. We'll be doing this by using tape primer. We will be applying tape primer to the EPDM and applying it and rolling it to the pressure sensitive tape. After that has been installed, the next thing we will do is we will be able to apply membrane bonding adhesive from our point right in the corner on the reinforced EPDM up to where the finished height of our flashing will be. We'll be applying the tape primer with a scrubby pad to ensure that the primer gets worked in well to the EPDM. And it's also very important that our tape primer is installed outside of where it'll actually land to make sure that we get full coverage of the primer when it hits the tape. After our tape primer has been applied, we want to make sure that it tacks off thoroughly and flashes off properly before we apply it. To do this, we're going to give it, we're going to push on it to make sure that we still have some tackiness, but we also want to make sure that the primer doesn't come off when we do this. This is our sign that shows us that our primer is ready to install. So what we will do is we will pull the release paper down all the way on this. So what we do is we'll take the EPDM and we'll roll it right into the corner as we come down the line, all the way to the edge of the pressure sensitive tape. After we've adhered our EPDM to our pressure sensitive tape, the next step will be to apply the membrane bonding adhesive to the EPDM as well as to our substrate. So what we've done to prepare for this is we've thoroughly mixed our bonding adhesive to a consistent basis and we've kind of made some marks along our substrate. We have eight inch flashing and we made our marks about an inch or two above where the top of our flashing will go to make sure we get full coverage of the bonding adhesive. One thing that we've done to keep things a little bit cleaner is we installed a sacrificial piece of EPDM underneath our flashing so that we don't have to worry about getting drips on top of the new rubber. It's important to kind of pull the rubber back to make sure we get the glue all the way into the corner. And because of our sacrificial piece of rubber, we don't have to worry about getting any adhesive onto our roof. After we've applied our membrane bonding adhesive, we want to make sure that it's flashed off properly. We do this by touching the rubber and feeling that we don't take any adhesive off the EPDM exposing the EPDM. So what we'll do next is get a little air under the rubber to make it easier to work with. We'll apply it up the wall, roll it into the wall, and then we'll be ready for termination of the EPDM. The first step I do is I put my hands underneath it and I work it sharp into the corner to make sure that it's, it doesn't want to pull out on us, bridge on us prematurely. So after we've initially set it, We're then ready to start working it up the walls.
after we have our EPDM in place, it's very important that we roll the rubber in or broom the rubber in to ensure full contact and adhesion. After we have both sides of our flashing up and adhered, before we add our termination, the next step we have to do is deal with this inside corner. And what we've done here is we've actually created a pig's ear with the EPDM to eliminate any cuts in the rubber. 